Hello Floss2, my name is Tamara and in today's video I'm going to show you what has happened in my cross-stitch life in the last week. So you'll see uh, what I have managed to uh, finish for my projects, how the progress is going on my other projects and which is going to be the new project of the week because if you haven't forgotten of course if you're watching like regularly my channel um i am uh, in uh, the uh, i would say the third part <laughs> the last one of my mega project uh, three months of uh, every week new projects so every week i'm starting a new project and uh, the next week i'm showing like progress finished works and which is going to be the new project of the week so let's get started and uh, let me show you what progress I have on the project which I started uh, last week. So this is crossed wing uh, collection, uh, chirping sparrow bisker nest, biscor nest. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. And um, I have stitched everything. So uh, I have to do the, the finishing, I would say. And this is a great deal, I would say, honestly, because... Um, I didn't think that it's so much work on these uh, tiny little things, but apparently because of the fact that um, everything is cross-stitched, so there are no like uh, um, blank uh, spaces <laughs> on the fabric, and because there is this um, like tiny tiny cross stitches, uh, it was uh, it was. Uh, I wouldn't say difficult, it, it took time, but I managed, I managed to stitch everything and this is how it looks like. So I chose from the stash, from the leftovers I had, I chose Antique White, uh, 28th uh, Cashel, and this is how it looks like. The thing which made me probably stitch everything is that not everything is difficult, so because here there are no, no many, not many colors, it's not so complicated, it's just here it's not complicated to stitch, but look how it looks like. I'm showing you like this because when it's going to be a biscorn new already made, uh, it won't look so nice. So some of the things are hidden. So this is how it looks like. I like it enormously. And there is no box stitch here, absolutely. And what I was like, um, also, it was interesting for me, the fact that around these eggs, uh, the um, tiny stitches, they start with uh, the brown color. They're not just the, uh, the blue of the... Uh, uh, the blue of the um, eggs and here is the back of the scissor fob and this is the bird and the bird is super nice super nice <laughs> it was a little bit of thing to do it and i made this the bird i made in cross stitches but when the time came for this like background i honestly i did it uh, half stitch uh, over one in two threads and it's okay because this is background and it's not such a big like difference but i'm super in love with what what it resulted honestly i haven't thought about uh, uh, i i haven't chose any materials and i haven't thought exactly how i'm going to finish this one as i didn't have time i just finished uh, uh, stitching it ironed it and uh, started filming because the video should be, should be on soon that's why i didn't have time but i'm going to go to look what i have in my stash meaning like beads and other things decide how i'm going to to do the final variant and if it's not going to be enough i'll go probably have a quick go to hobby craft and i'm so happy to tell you this thing because we were in lockdown with the shops closed until the 12th of april since the beginning of, it was the end of November or the beginning of January, I don't remember exactly. I know that the last time I have been shopping normally in a shop, meaning lo like not buying food, um, in the end of November for sure, because they announced that from the next week uh, we are going to close all the shops. And I remember like even going and buying Christmas presents for my uh, for my boy uh, to make sure that I, I found what, what I wanted to, to give him as, uh, as present. So it's like after four months of the bit. I'm not a great, um, how do I say? I love online shopping, honestly. I am great uh, adept of online shopping. But when you are not going in an actual shop for four months and a bit, <laughs> I didn't go from the first week because there were queues, there were like people. But uh, after one week, 
I went there and I didn't buy a lot. I wouldn't say that I like shopped myself uh, a lot. It was just the thing of like going, uh, browsing, you know, like choosing. You know what I mean. Okay, so um, I'm going to look what I need for this one. And uh, in the next video, I hope I'm going to show you maybe the ready work, maybe how it is progressing. So we'll see. So to be continued with this one. And I wanted to show you one of my finished work because yes, I managed to put together Mary, Mary 15. I am crazy about that work. Floral 15 by Just Now. So last time when I showed you in one of my videos, I showed that uh, I had stitched all these uh, squares, all these parts, and uh, I had to put everything together to have the biscornu, the final biscornu. And here it is, my final biscornu. I am um, super happy that I managed to stitch this one, to put it together, because this was my December wish, December dream, to see these two together like this. Yes. <laughs> so after stitching Mary 15, I decided that I have to stitch this one, because I had already this one in my stash. Uh, and uh, like when the spring came, <laughs> I said that it's now or never. Okay, so... Uh, the way of like putting it together is exactly as this one. I did it quicker because I already knew the procedure, how I had to do this. It was like nicer, quicker and better, I would say. Uh, in the middle, I uh, used the button from Swarovski uh, Antique Pink. It's the color which I said that I wanted to fit with this one because here I have a burgundy one. The only thing is that this one is two millimeters wider. I mean, the di diameter, but it's not so evident, I would say. The only thing is that this one is still is taller. Maybe if I, but I didn't want to push this one like inside so, so hard. I don't know. And uh, the um, um, pins, which I have here, uh, these ones are not sold like as a kit or you, they are sold separately as pins, Charm Garden pins by Just Then, and you have to buy them one by one to have them in this, uh, in this, uh, on this uh, Biscorn. It's not obligatory, of course, but me as a fan, as a lover of the Just Nan uh, little nice things and their pins, of course, I had to, to put them together. These ones, these five, they come together as a, as a set. So, but this one, uh, you have to, to buy them. According to the um, uh, uh, preview, so here is the um, B pin, it's the bunny pin, uh, hummingbird, the uh, ladybug, and there is the prince frog pin, something like this. So four of them I already had because when I started like uh, buying Just Nan, uh, making a collection of Just Nan, these pins still were available at uh, decent prices. So because they are normal prices once upon a time, it was like starting from $9.99 until $12, $12.50. There were shops which were selling them. But this was the range of price they were sold for. So from those times I have four. So I have the... I have the um, uh, bee, I have the um, bunny, I have the ladybug, but my, la my ladybug is like this, you know what I mean, like the leaf is metallic, because these ladybugs, they come in like, I, as far as I notice, they come in three different ways. So my leaf here, it's metallic and with a split of like green glitter. There is, uh, this leaf is um, Mm, glass, green glass, I saw it like this, and there is the one which is here, which has a flower at the base, if you can see, so this like one of a variety. I have just this one, the hummingbird, and the prince frog I didn't have, so this is the only one which I didn't have from the good times. I could buy it later, but the price has already started going up, 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 and it's 
comes on eBay now and then, but you know that the pins on eBay, they start from 50, $50 or pay around $50. And I decided uh, that I would make my own pin, like also a frog. And my pin looks like this. So it's a frog, which is also used in Just Nan designs. It's not the same. Let me show you how this one looks like. You see, if you see this one and how mine looks like. It's different, but I think it's not worse. So I made my own frog to use for this design. And in such a way, I have my dream accomplished, like both of them are ready. And uh, last time I showed you that I had two extra pieces, which I said that I'm going to use uh, to put together and make a mini biscornium, which is going to be a scissor fob. So I put them together, as you can see. And um, I used uh, as a center, like two pull the center here, the uh, two beads of two millimeters, the ones which we used here, because I said that in the embellishment pack, they were like 12. 10 I used in the um, uh, Biscornio itself, uh, floral 15, and two were extra. And these two extra I just used here, like in the center, and I finished with them. And um, this one, I was not sure what to make, like make making a cording, uh, from the same color of uh, threads, I mean like this green mint, or use um, beads, because I also like the fobs which have beads here. I was not sure if I had beads of this mint green colors, apparently I had in my stash, so this is uh, number 525, 525, and I decided to go with beads. So I put them together like this. Uh, if I will change my mind, anytime I can make cording from these uh, colors and uh, like replace the bead thing with uh, uh, thread cording. And I like attach them to my um, saju scissors. And by the way, I'm super in love with this uh, little one. It's super nice. And uh, it's the smallest biscornu which I have in my collection it's super cute you know uh, like after i put it together i finished before like you putting this one i was even thinking of like not making it a um, scissor fold leaving like this to be like you know um, uh, the smallest biscorn in my collection so i don't know so far it's going to be a, a scissor fold if i'll change my mind maybe it's going to be just a biscorn a little one i'll see okay so this is it what I wanted to show you, that this work is ready, it's done. Uh, I would admit that still my favorite from this two is this one. Um, I don't know why. Maybe because it has like these little uh, things here, which like the ginger man, the Christmas bird, the angel, the Santas. This is just floral. They're both beautiful, but still, I said my favorite one still is the, the Christmas one. It's like... I, I love it enormously, but I have both of them like in my collection and of course I wish I had like at least two more. Uh, if just none would release, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, autumn uh, or like um, Halloween variant, I would be very happy. Uh, winter, just winter, no Christmas, I also would be happy because I'm crazy about like getting this uh, seasonal series in Just Nan. And uh, yeah, I would like that, but I doubt that Just Nan will release like more 15s Biscornu, Biscornu. Okay, so I have one more ready work in my three months of new projects every week new projects uh, new projects and uh, i think in the end of these three months i'm going to film a video showing everything which i managed to stitch because uh, i had such a suggestion in the comments but i thought about this even even before the comments that probably it would be nice like having um, a concluding video about all these things because uh, I chose to start uh, small projects which can be finished quicker so that I would have like uh, a lot of uh, finished projects in the end of these three months. So yes, in the beginning I thought about starting like 
uh, larger projects, but after the third week, I think, I decided that still I will switch to the little ones, I'll have a lot of finishes, I'll have like um, positive feelings that look, I'm starting so many, but I'm finishing as well many projects. That was my, my idea. Okay, that's it. So let's go to the next point. And I wanted quickly to show how are the things going with uh, this doll of mine. So uh, I am, um, I haven't made a lot of things, but the most important thing I did. So I like made her underskirt. It's um, like this. It looks like this. Of course, it has lace. I like like putting lace for all of them. Like this one also has lace. Monica also has lace. I mean, all the dolls which come, they look. You see, this one is like kind of this. All these dolls which uh, come with the skirts like this, all of them have lace underneath so that it would be nice, you know. And um, I made uh, like the underskirt and I already have the uh, height of the doll so that, uh, and I know how much I would need like here because I don't have like the measurements. I am doing it by eye, or how should I say? Uh, for those who haven't watched uh, since the very beginning of this project, so I don't have the original chart. That's why I'm doing it as I am thinking that, I mean like the measurements. And uh, here I stitched a little bit more, but um, still I made this part I already said, so that I would know how much of this ones I would need, you know, because it will depend on this one. So this is it. Not a lot of like progress, but still I wanted to show it to you. And my new start of this week is going to be this uh, design. This is a Just Nan Morning Song. This is a sampler, a very tiny sampler, I would say, but uh, a sampler which I wanted a lot to stitch. So I was ready to stitch it, uh, how do I say, from scratch, like not having the original charm and not the original uh, chart, because I like this one very much. I don't know why, but I like it very, very much. Uh, that's why when I was able to buy the original uh, chart with the uh, charm, I was super happy. And I looked for the rest of the things I needed so that I would I would be able to stitch it. So the only thing, the only charm which is present here is um, sheep charm, this one. It doesn't have any other beads or anything else. It's just uh, uh, the key is uh, DMC or uh, anchor. So you can choose and no pearls, no nothing. So it's super simple, this one. But the um, fabric which is required for this one, it's uh, uh, Graziano, it's Jinkham. Uh, I mean like this, it's checked. I don't know if it's correct. And uh, I didn't even try to find it because I know that uh, Graziano is very hard to find. I tried to find a, a, an alternative because it has to be obligatorily uh, 28th count. Why obligatorily? Because it's important to start as it it is um, required here. So it's important, like uh, you don't do it uh, chaotically. So it's important how you put it because they go like from, you see, it starts with lighter and it goes with lighter. So the fabric which I chose, this is, um, 28th count and then this is light uh, khaki from uh, from uh, with the works um, i looked carefully how much i need and i ordered it on one to three stitch by the way when it came such a tiny fabric i was looking like what the i ordered looked once more so it seems that this one is enough and it's enough for space like for borders so apparently the design is going to be very very small mm. like let's say so the design is going to be width is going to be like this so it's going to be enough i don't know how it's going to look on this um, fabric but um, like visually if you look here and you look here more or less it's okay um i will try to make out of this one a bell pull i'm saying for a while that i want to for like this uh, tiny um uh, tiny works by Just Nan to make out a bell pull because it's too much of a fuss for me to make out of all like with a uh, passepartout, a frame. So you have to have a lot of walls to put them on. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to try to make a bell pull if it's, but this is going to be after stitching. Let, let's stitch 
let's stick to stitching. So I'm going to start this one. I'll prepare the um, DMC threads. I haven't take, took them out of my boxes yet. And uh, I'll show you how it is going on. So I'll keep you in touch. That's everything I wanted to show you in today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you are enjoying my every week projects which I'm starting. So don't miss my next videos and until then, bye bye.